if you're ready to experience more peace and joy in your life, if you want to feel more comfortable in your own skin, and if you're ready to discover and expand on your energetic gifts and personal power, you're in the right place. So here's your host, Kelly Sparta. Welcome back to Spirit Guides Thursday Thoughts. I'm your host, Kelly Sparta, transformational shaman, spiritual coach. And today you're actually going to hear from one of my students. Her name is Ayla Amias, and she is an amazing reader and she's a, an amazing teacher. So she's going to share some thoughts with you. So enjoy. These are a couple of tips for beginners on establishing and finding your baseline as a practitioner. It's very important to understand your normal, your baseline when beginning your spiritual practice, especially if your goal is to commune and connect with spirits and entities. I'm going to begin with the practice of discernment called mundane before magical. Entertaining mundane causes before magical or spiritual causes is a grounding practice. When you're starting out and you're starting to learn what clear abilities are strongest for you and how you discern your communication with spirits, which experiences are legitimate and which are not can be very confusing. It is very easy to feel overwhelmed and lost. So how do you know when a thought is yours or communication from spirit? When will you find out if a dream is communication from spirit? Is every tarot reading correct? We've all been there, we've all been beginners before. These are completely normal questions to have. There are mundane explanations as to why your divination can go wrong. There are mundane explanations to the sounds in your home or the things you see out of the corner of your eye. Discernment is an ongoing practice no matter how long you've been a practitioner. Your normal may be different from someone else's. Getting to know yourself, your baseline, your normal is essential for discerning when something isn't you and when something doesn't have a mundane explanation. That being said, there's an important balance to be had with suspension of disbelief. You can lean too far into mundane over magical and explain everything away. That's part of practicing discernment. This is a part of practicing magic in general. Finding the balance between mundane explanations along with suspension of disbelief to entertain the allowance of spiritual experience and reality to reveal itself beyond the normal human senses is ongoing. Leaning on mundane explanations can also be a way to explain away messages that we don't want to hear. For example, let's say you do candle magic frequently and you know the baseline activity of your candles. And in this particular working, your candles aren't standing up. They keep falling over. Yes, there are mundane explanations, but you know this isn't your normal. So maybe entertain that it could be a sign from spirit. This working may not be the best suited for your purposes. So again, it's about finding that balance and it's incredibly important to get to know your baseline. So how are you going to find that out? Meditation. A regular meditative practice builds a solid foundation for your spiritual practice in general. The purpose is to get familiar with your energy and your thought patterns. It will help you be more aware of the energy and thoughts that aren't yours. Understanding how you experience energy and how you run energy starts here. There are many ways to meditate. There's the idea of chanting, silencing your mind, or observing your thoughts and letting them go. If you're feeling overwhelmed by your thoughts, I recommend guided meditations. Let someone else guide your thoughts and lead you. Once you get comfortable with the process of getting into the liminal space of meditation with guidance, you can start practicing on your own. Utilize the methods and guided meditation that seem to work for you best. Don't be overwhelmed if you find it hard to sit still. Give yourself grace to readjust or even take a moment to sit with the discomfort. What makes your body feel comfortable and how is the energy moving in your body? It is very important to listen to your body you can't hurt yourself trying to withstand discomfort. I've heard of people getting nerve damage this way. You can also do meditative walking or stretching. You don't have to be still. When taking a walk outside, you can focus on your steps. Be present in the environment. This concept leads into the meditative practice of presence. The purpose is to simply be. And it's one of my favorite ways to achieve silence in the mind. But we live in a noisy world. I once heard the story of a monk who was being trained to meditate in public places. 
His mentor gathered them on a bus and the monk had a hard time meditating through the noise and commotion. He got off the bus at a stop and tried meditating outside where there was more quiet. His mentor found him and asked him what he was doing and he said meditating. I couldn't meditate on the bus, it was far too noisy. Then the mentor said that the purpose was to meditate through the noise. He encouraged his student to return to the bus and meditate with the noise. I had a similar interaction with one of my spirit guides once like that. I was trying to meditate but there was too much noise from my neighbors and I was getting frustrated. He came to me and told me to imagine that the sounds were like water waves. Don't imagine them as what should or shouldn't be, just let the waves hit and feel how it resonates. If you're sitting in judgment of how your meditation is going, you can observe the tension. Where is the tension resonating from the muscles in your body? Maybe it's in the shoulders. If you slowly move your shoulders, how does that relieve the tension? All these things are a way to recognize yourself and your energy, how you're holding it, where you're storing it, how it runs through you. It's very important in your spiritual practice to have a sense of self, how you engage with spirit, how you push out and pull in your energy, how you ground, how you center yourself, is all better informed with your meditative practice. Learn what it feels like to be you. There is no right way or wrong way to be you. You are you. There is no right way or wrong way to be present. You are present. And that's it for this week's Thursday Thoughts. Join us tomorrow for the Ascend Day on the Spirit Guides podcast. So that's it for today's episode of Spirit Guides Podcast. Head on over to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen and subscribe to the show. Every week, one lucky listener who subscribes and posts a review on iTunes will be entered into a drawing for a $10,000 value grand prize and a private reading with Kelly Sparta herself. Be sure to head on over to spiritguidespodcast.com and pick up a free copy of Kelly's gift and join us on the next episode. Oh,